What's happening, Nerd Army? Guys, it's time for another vlog. All right, guys, so uh, left Oklahoma this morning. Now I'm driving through the most boring fucking state to drive through, Kansas. Dude, it's all the fucking same. It's all flat. Well, not right here. This part of Kansas isn't as bad as earlier. Let's check it out. See how fucking flat it is? We look over here. There's some rolling hills and shit. All right, all right. I see ya. But it's boring as hell to drive through this fucking state. Oh my god. I'm on the 70, doing like 80, just chilling. But I'm fucking, I, I started dozing earlier and I was like, oh, oh shit. Wake up. Fucking AC was blasting so I get all cold. I mean, it's been a cool, cool drive, dude. I mean, it really has, guys. Uh, we are, I think, like 250 miles from our destination, Colorado Springs, uh, where now we've got it all planned out where we're going to go out there, get a storage shed, drop our shit off, and then we are going to stay with my brother tonight, and I got off with this fucking U-Haul in the morning, damn, but we're going to stay with my brother for the night, um, and go and leave for California, we're going to drive to California. We're gonna stop in Arizona, Bullhead City, visit my wife's dad and my grandpa. We're gonna visit them on the way, and then but we're gonna end up staying in California for a, probably a month or so, waiting for our house to be ready because our house fell through that we had lined up. Um, so we're gonna be out there waiting for our house to be ready. So I hadn't done a vlog all morning just because I was tired and I didn't want to do anything. I also haven't shaved in like a freaking week, so. It's getting there. I'm gonna go like full on big ass beard. That's what's happening. And I'm kind of excited to go out to California and visit all my friends and visit a bunch of my buddies um, that I grew up with. And then I'm going to hit up fucking Ventura, California's flea market. Now, if you guys don't know, I, I am starting my uh, you my uh, online store. I'm actually building the website. I've been working on it whenever we're stopped and I'm not doing anything. Last night I was hanging out with my brothers and one I had never met and then the other one I had seen in like a couple years. So I was hanging out with them. We were just hanging out, bullshitting, talking smack about each other. But uh, no, it's it's been a really cool trip. Uh, my wife's tired of driving. So once we get to Colorado, I'll get rid of the truck, this big ass piece of shit you all I'm driving and get all her shit offloaded. I'm gonna drive our car and she can just nap in the fucking passenger seat. But we uh, should be in California. We're going to stay in Bullhead City, Arizona tomorrow. Uh, we'll stay in Colorado Springs tonight. And one thing, dude, that I'm so excited to get in Colorado is fucking Jack in the Box. Now, if you guys are on the East Coast, shit, there's very few Jack in the Box restaurants. But that's what's going on, dude. As soon as we get to Colorado Springs, I'm getting me a fucking number six from Jack in the Box, a big ass burger. Woo! That's my shit right there, man. Bacon Ultimate Cheeseburger. If you guys haven't had Jack in the Box, you are missing out. Or you can get some tacos. You got like two tacos for a dollar. Say what's up. But um, yeah, that's my food plans when I get there. And we're gonna hang out, have a good time kids get some rest because they're tired of being in the car we got a few more hours to go about four fuck about four more hours to go um but we'll get there it's gonna be good times gonna get that all done get that all set up um but what i'm gonna do when i hit that flea market in ventura there's a guy that goes there every single week and it's on wednesdays the flea markets are on wednesdays in the morning which they're never that packed because it's on a fucking Wednesday. They still have them on Sundays and stuff too, but the one on Wednesday is fucking off the chain. It's like awesome. But there's a guy who always goes there that brings like 10,000 comic books to the fucking flea market. And I've rifled through his stuff for hours before. 
and I ended up finding like a first appearance of Jon Stewart in like probably like fair condition. It wasn't great. He has some of his like most of his stuff is backed and boarded and everything. So I'm like cool. So the first appearance of Jon Stewart I found there. They got paid like two bucks for it. And if you guys know, that's a pretty fucking expensive comic. Even in the state it was in, it's still worth some good money. Um, I also found the uh, Wolverine number one. Now, he had that in a stack, and he had a list for like 50 cents. I cleaned up on that shit. Hell yeah. First Wolverine comic, done. Now, I also, one gem that I did find through him, and I paid him about, I paid about like 60 bucks for it, but I found a... Of like very fine, like almost almost near mint um, Hulk 181, which you guys don't know. That's the first full appearance of Wolverine, and I got that comic for like I said like 60 bucks, and that comic is worth a hell of a lot more than that. So that's one reason I'm excited to go to Ventura because I'm gonna go hit that flea market up in the morning and clean up on some badass comics. That's what I'm excited for, man. It is going to be awesome. But yeah, definitely really excited to get out to California. Uh, see my mom, my daughter, uh, my wife's grandma, her family. Go we'll see her cousins and hang out, drink a bunch of beer. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a cool time. So yes, guys, uh, this is technically day four of the trip. And we probably got two more days. Uh, we're going to, like I said, stop in Colorado Springs tonight drop our shit off in the morning and head out and get out to Arizona by tomorrow afternoon and uh, stay there and then go to California. So okay, we'll be out in, in Ventura, California in a couple more days, which is exciting. Really excited for that. Besides the flea market, I get to go to all my old comic shops I grew up going to. And I'm going to clean up on some shit too because... Like, my buddy Seth owns one of them, and he is just, he is the man. And if you guys are in Ventura, California, go to Seth's Games and Anime. Big shout out to Big Seth. His shop is really awesome. Whether you're into comics, card games, D&D, role-playing, I mean, you want to play Warhammer, I mean, he's got fucking everything. Awesome collectibles. I've got a lot of really nice collectibles and a lot of really high-end comics from him. Um... And there's also another one in town, uh, Hypno Comics. And Hypno Comics is badass because they're CGC certified. So they always have CGC books for sale in the shop. It's so, so freaking awesome. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, it's going to be great. I'm going to clean me up on some comics. My wife doesn't know yet. She might get a little mad. So I'm going to keep them on the down low, keep them, hide them in my backpack. I wonder how well I can do that. But no, guys, it's uh, been a cool trip. Um, you guys ever been to Kansas? Let me know. No, and I don't see fucking Dorothy, but I hear there is a place here in Kansas where they actually have like a Dorothy, like Wizard of Oz kind of museum. And I'd like to go there one day. That's cool. I love the Wizard of Oz. This shit's funny. It's awesome freaking movie. Back in the day too. Woo, it's a bad movie though. All right, guys. I will talk to you later. Peace out.